Hi, I'm Wanda Urbanska. You know, it isn't often that a woman from Mount Airy, North Carolina, gets the chance to spend a couple of days with a former president of the United States. But President and Mrs. Jimmy Carter invited me into their lives, lives of shining simplicity amid legendary accomplishments. So join me now, will you, for this Simple Living Special, where we travel from my small town to an even smaller town, where a future president learned the core values of simple living. Plains, Georgia, USA, population 653. A rural community where the pace is slow and the bright Georgia sun drenches the plowed fields. Where Jimmy Carter, growing up on this farm, the home of his parents, Earl and Lillian Carter, came to love the land and learn the enduring wisdom of land stewardship. For me, this journey to Plains was a kind of pilgrimage. A chance not only to spend time with two small town visionaries who minister faithfully to our planet, but also to pay homage to pioneering practitioners of simple living here in their native village where the Carter's improbable journey began. It was Jimmy and Rosalind Carter, after all, who led by personal example in the White House, beginning with their famous inaugural walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. And Rosalind's gown, seen here at the Georgia Governor's inaugural ball, reappeared in Washington in time for the presidential inaugural ball. Such symbols of simplicity expressed the Carter's deeply rooted values and endeared them to young idealistic Americans who believed that our leaders should walk their talk. Now, flash forward to the present. My first glimpse of the Carter's came with the arrival of another emblem of simplicity, a passenger train. Supporters of the Carter Center, the Atlanta-based organization founded by the Carters and the Carters themselves were boarding that train for the short trip from Plains to Jimmy Carter's boyhood home outside town. All right. Give her a kiss for me. At last, with the train in motion, President Carter had a moment to relax, only to be besieged by who else? My son, Henry squeezing his way through and, of course, mugging for the camera. This is my son, Henry. Shake hands, Henry. Good to see you, man. Great. Have you been hearing about President Carter for a long time? Yeah. Have you really? Right. Good to see you. Where do you live? My name is North Carolina. Where? Mount Airy, North Carolina. Mount Airy. That's beautiful country up there. And a Griffith's hometown. Oh, yeah. You don't have to tell me. That's great to know. Here was the place where President Carter grew up. Thank you for riding with us. President well, Carter. I always enjoy it. Thank you. It's a great ride. Can you look Thank at you. President Carter? I'll try. Yeah, you look very pretty. I like to look at you. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see y'all. The old home place where the young Jimmy Carter lived, well, simply. <laughs> 